welcome to Dabbling in Journals. Today I thought I'd do a sketch in my sketchbook which I've got in my Traveller's Notebook, regular size in the brown colour from Traveller's Company Japan. And I'm not a professional artist, I just do sketching for fun and I thought I'd video my process so that if you're interested you can follow along with me. So I thought today I would draw an eye because I like drawing eyes and I need to practice facial features. So I think I'll pick this toned, toned coloured paper because the white will stand out. When I'm using a white pencil, it will stand out on that colour paper and that might be fun. So first thing I do when I'm starting an eye is I start with the rims of the eye. So if you think of an eye as a sphere in a socket and then there's an opening in the skin which the eye peeks out through and it has a rim at the top and also at the bottom. So I'm going to draw that in first because then that will give me a sort of guide as to where I want to put all the other bits of the eye. And you have a tear duct here and then a rim around the bottom. And I've made quite a round wide eye here. <laughs> Maybe make it slightly smaller and because you can go over the top of a pale colour like this I'm not I'm not worried that I've decided to change the proportion very slightly so I'm going to do that first and then the next thing that I like to do is just map in where the iris is going to go and I'm going to do a blue eye which of course blue eyes are mainly grey aren't they so I'm going to start with that grey colour Oh, and if anyone's interested, I'm using polychromos pencils and that first one was Light Flesh and this one is called Grey 4. When you're drawing the iris, remember it's sort of partly hidden by the eyelids, so it's sort of behind them, so it's not like a perfect circle. And I guess what you have to try and do is try and make it look as if there is a circle there that's hidden. So you want that sort of circular shape, but with a flat top and a flat bottom, she says, making it bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> oh, because I'm filming this, it's going to come out rubbish, isn't it? Let's see. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. OK, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put a little bit of pink in the tear duct. And I want to put a little white highlight there and maybe another one here because that's that sort of glistens and then I want a little pink bit in the corner, the other corner. And I'm just going to kind of take that into the top of the rim. So that's the top and that's the bottom of the rim. And I think I'm just going to do it pink for a little while <laughs> and then I'm going to go grey, blend grey in and the white of the eye of course isn't actually white. I tend to colour it grey, you could colour it blue, you can, when you're using colour you can use whatever colour you want of course. And of course this is a ball so you need the edge of the ball so if you imagine that ball coming all the way around and you're going to need an edge of the ball there <laughs> and then underneath that top eyelid we're going to have some shadow so I'm going to put these in and I'll probably do these darker later but I sort of do it bit by bit so I can get an eye I flit about the eye so that I can get a sort of idea of my values and I'm just going to stick in the tear sort of rim for the tear duct so that it starts to look more like an eye and now I think I'll take a really pale pencil so it's another cold grey but this is a cold grey too so they're numbered so that the, the bigger the number the darker the colour but they're all the same colour they're just different values darker or lighter and I'm just colouring in the white of the eye and at the moment 
It doesn't look very much like an eye, <laughs> but I have high hopes that it will. Then I'm going to go for a slightly darker grey and shade. And again, I'm, I'm trying to imagine I'm shading a ball. So I'm going in this sort of curve shape to keep the impression it's a ball peeking out and again curved around this end. Here we go. And try and make it look a bit more like an eye. <laughs> I am going to put the pupil in. And I'm not going to put my highlight on the actual pupil for this particular drawing. I might do one like that afterwards. I'm just going to try and get my pupil round. <laughs> they always end up bigger than I want them to because I keep, in order to get them round, they seem to get bigger and bigger. The ever-growing pupil. Okay. And then I'm going to use a white pencil, and this is a Luminant 6901 pencil, because it's my favourite white. So I'm using that for my highlight in my eye. And I'm going to have a sort of oblong one here. And then I'm going to have just a little spot of highlight on the other side, I think. And that will make the eye look nice and shiny, I hope. I'm going to start putting a little bit of colour in the eye, or in the iris, I should say. I'm going to start with a little bit of blue because I just want the blue underneath and glistening through and not sort of, I don't want the eye to end up looking too blue because I don't think that's all that natural. Although some people do have really bright blue eyes, don't they? Then I shall do some more shading around the edge of the eye, trying to get it a better shape shadow under the top eyelid and I'm going to start putting some of the like sort of little squiggles and things that you see in eyes just random little lines and dots and various things texture I'm going to put a little bit of yellow I always put yellow in blue eyes I don't know why I do that obviously it'll end up looking green then I want to go darker even darker and I'd sort of go darker gradually because I suppose in case I go wrong <laughs> and I feel like, oh, I know once I know where I want everything to be, I may be more confident. And also, I guess you get a sort of better idea as you go along as to how dark you want something. And it's much easier to make something darker if you've made it too light than it is around the other way. So I err on the side of caution and start light. And then I get gradually darker and really want that dark shadow at the top there. And I think I'm going to go even darker and I'm using an indigo blue or dark indigo I think this is actually and I just want to make that go even more, deepen that even more. The outside of the iris tends to be the darkest part of it but it is a bit kind of, I'm blending it a bit because when you look at the eye, it's not like a smooth, straight line. There's lots of intricate patterns and colours and all kinds of things in the iris. And everybody's eye is different, I, well, I assume, because on James Bond films, they use people's eye, <laughs> eye scans to open things. I mean, can they really do that? I have no idea. I don't, <laughs> I don't always know whether what I have seen on television is fact or fiction just putting a bit of a shadow in that highlight and I'm thinking that that eye is going very blue now so I want to make it grey down a bit so I'm going over with the grey and blending there so I've got I've ended up with quite a dark eye haven't I that's fine I'm going to put a little bit of light light grey in and now that my eye is so dark more rather my iris is so dark I'm wondering whether I need to darken up the white of the eye but let's wait and see I think the next thing I'm going to do is put a little bit of a highlight just around the corner of the tear duct 
to just because I like to remind myself I like a little highlight there and I don't want to forget I want some bit darker colors so I've got um what's this called pompium red I think it says so any red obviously um just to add a bit of texture inside the tear duct and I think I want to just another little bit of a glisten to do with sharpening this pencil and then I'm going to go with that other pink which was medium flesh yep going around my highlights giving it making it look nice and pink Okay, and now I'm going to have a think about the crease above the eye and I'm just going to put that in and this colour is cinnamon. I'm just going to use this initially and it's going to go sort of like this and then come down, maybe have another crease coming off here. Okay, so that's more or less where I want it. Make it a little bit thicker and again I've started with fairly pale colour and I'm going to make that fairly kind of thick because I'm going to put a darker colour on the inside in a bit. I'm shading above it if you like. Okay so let's put in a darker colour and what shall I use? got Capu Mortem here and I'm just going to try and get that right in the middle or towards the bottom of where I've put the pink just because I want to deepen up that crease. I hope my head's not in the way of the camera and soften that. And soften that and I think I'm going to be sort of daring with my colours around this eye mustn't forget that I've got that eyelid here. I don't want it too dark though, otherwise it looks a bit weird. But I'll put it in a bit more because I don't want to forget about it. So I've put it in a bit darker. It was in in a pale colour initially, if you remember, but I'm just making it a little bit darker just to remind me about that rim at the bottom, sort of goes across here. Okay, and yeah, I said I was gonna be a bit daring with my colour, so let's see, I'm gonna go blue on the corner of the eye here. That might be fun. Yeah. Blue on the corner which was quite bright and then I'm going to go I'm going to put some skin tone down first so I think I'll use this one which is brown ochre 10% I've got a little stubby bit left it's one of my favorite colors from the luminance range because it's a very natural creamy brownie color I like this color a lot in fact I might put some in there as well that top eyelid and then I'm going to put a little bit, I'm going to put a few sort of wrinkles. Do we call them wrinkles? Laughter lines? <laughs> you have sort of a few of those, don't you? And I just want to add a bit of blue colour. This isn't blue. This is violet. Is it violet? Yeah, violet. Under the eye. Just to brighten up my drawing. And... I'm going to blend that a little bit with my skin tone because remember skin is all kinds of colours you know you can see if you look in the mirror you'll see all kinds of colours in your skin there'll be pinks and browns and blues and greens and purples and all kinds of colours reds and I'm going to take oh this is one of my favourite colours it's burnt ochre if you saw my house, you would see that this is my kind of favourite kind of colour. <laughs> I really love autumnal colours, fall colours, depending on what you call it. I'm 
lines. I'm going to put a bit of that on her eyelid. And I think I'll put some on the outside as well of her eyelid. It will look more like an eye once it's got eyelashes, she says, hopefully. And you see how the pencil, you can put layer of pencil over layer of pencil. And if you, this is just a sketch, so I'm not being ever so careful. And I'm just practicing really and seeing what kind of colors I like, because then when I do a sort of fuller drawing, which takes a long time with color pencil, it's nice if you've done sketches and you've kind of got an idea of what colors your pencils are, depending what set you have and although I do have a lot and I forget I just like to experiment really and it's quite nice just to experiment in your sketchbook with different colours to see what you decide you like the most and I think I'm going to take that little bit under here it's looking a bit like eyeshadow isn't it <laughs> okay maybe just a little bit of sparkly white in the middle there and I do want to just darken up this a little bit more and I'm going to put a little bit of blue into the eye it, what's this called pupil I'm going to put a little bit of blue into the pupil it's already got black. I'm putting some blue and then I'm going to put a little bit of my Capu Morton, which is a ready brown. And I'm just hoping it will just make it look like a richer colour. It's still black, but a sort of richer black. I don't know. Do you think that made any difference? I'm not sure. Um, I want to deepen up my crease in some places. So maybe where, where I've put the colour... Maybe here. Hmm. I think I'll have to give it some eyebrows, otherwise it's going to look so weird. I do the eyelashes last, if you were wondering. Okay, what do we think? Should we give it an eyebrow? I'll have to go a bit higher up, won't I, if I'm going to... Hmm. Right, what do we think so far? I want to darken up under here because this is going to be really shadowed underneath the eyelid and so is this going to be a little bit shadowed underneath the... What colour am I using? I think I'm using blue. You see, it doesn't really matter what colours you use actually. What's more important is whether they are light enough or dark enough for the purpose that you're using them. So sometimes I pick up the wrong pencil <laughs> and then I think, oh, actually, I quite like that. And I hadn't thought about putting dark blue on the top of the eye before. I quite like how it looks. So that was a happy accident. And you see how even though I coloured the whites of the eyes grey, they don't look that grey anymore, do they? Or do you think they do? <laughs> I will actually put a little bit of sparkle by putting a bit of a highlight here and a bit of a highlight here in the white of the eye just to make it look a bit more glisteny, I guess. And I could put one sort of around here somewhere. It just makes it look a little bit more glisteny, I think. Now, I want a bit more of my violet colour, if I can see it, underneath the eye definitely want a stronger feeling of lines under the eye although maybe not in purple just giving that a little bit of a purpley tinge it's called violet but I remember that the skin is not perfectly smooth so you don't actually have to be that tidy Oh, 
I do think I've done that lower eyelid a bit too dark a pink. So I am going to see if I can lighten that by putting white on. Yeah, I think that's better. It felt a bit too pink. What kind of eyebrow should we have? Uh, let's start with this colour because we've already used it just to map out where we want the eyebrow to go. So I'm just going to do little pencil strokes because obviously they are going to show. So you want them to sort of be going in the direction that your eyebrow would go. And we'll give her a nicely shaped eyebrow. Not very natural. She's plucked it. Okay, so I've mapped out where my eyebrow is going to go. And I'm going to go in with the darker colour. So what have I got here? I've just took a brown, walnut brown. And here I'm going to put some more just little strokes for the eyebrows. And I want to go in the direction that the eyebrow hairs grow, which tends to be from the top, doesn't it? Down. When I was young, I used to pluck my eyebrows, but I don't really anymore. Quite painful, isn't it? I always have my eyebrows threaded, that really hurt. Never do that again. Okay. And I'm going to do some little hairs, sort of flyaway ones around here. And a few kind of sticking out the top. And we give her a couple that she's missed <laughs> and now I want a really dark brown um, dark sepia that will be dark won't it and I just want to go a little bit darker in the middle of the eyebrow wasn't going to do an eyebrow I've got carried away I was just going to sketch an eye and I've sketched an eyebrow as well but it looks more like a, an eye when it's got an eyebrow do you think that's too skinny When I was younger, skinny eyebrows were quite kind of fashionable, but now I've noticed people have thicker ones. Just a matter of taste, I suppose. And I'm going to put a white highlight just there. And should we give her some skin above her eyebrow? Let's go for it. <laughs> I'm going to do a whole face in a minute. <laughs> I just want to blend the top of that eyebrow a little bit and give her some skin here. Sort of pinkier. Now we do need some eyelashes, of course. I think I want to go a little bit darker here. Oh, that's just like richer rather than darker, isn't it? I just love just doodling away with coloured pencils. Uh, I just, I don't know why I find it so much fun, but indeed I do find it. I feel like that tear duct is a little bit on the big side. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, which means losing some of my glistening bits. But why just don't I just done that with brown? I thought I picked up grey. Oh well. That's definitely defined now, isn't it? I just felt it was like too big that tear duct. What do you think? But I am gonna want some more colours in it now. Um let's go for a red here or along the top and can I get a little bit more white in there I think that's better I don't know and just make that rim a bit thicker 
So what I tend to do is just exactly what I'm doing. What you see me do now is I just fiddle. I like fiddle away till I'm happy with how it looks or until I have to go and do something else. Because <laughs> it is just a sketch in my sketchbook. A little practice and experiment with colours. Now I did want some more sort of, I don't know, eye wrinkles down here. Oh, that's a better colour. I can see that now. Um, okay. Maybe give that eyelid a bit of a, an edge. There. Shall we go? I think I've been doodling on this doodle for long enough. Shall I go in and do some eyelashes? Eyelashes are always a bit on the scary side. Um, I just, mm, just want to like brighten this up a little bit. Um, a bit more yellow. I don't know why. Just felt like a thing. Okay. And obviously with your eyelashes, they come out from under this eyelid and then they flick up. Kind of scary doing eyelashes, I find. <laughs> Oops, see? And sometimes they clump together like that and sometimes they don't. Now the ones on this side are gonna curl that way. Let's give that one a bit more of a curl. Okay, like that. And then the ones in the middle are going to go more straight. But clump some of them. And then they're going to go that way. Okay, and the same in the bottom eyelashes, but they're obviously smaller. And some of them clump together and meet together. And some of them don't. And as you come into the middle of the eye, you kind of get, so they're going the other way. And they're really not very strong, are they, by then? Not very long. I'm not good at eyelashes, am I? So that's something for me to practice, eyelashes. Put a bit of mascara on. <laughs> to hide the fact that I'm not good at eyelashes. Okay. What do we think? Shall I call that done? I think I'm gonna call that little sketch of an eye done. Thank you for watching.